<clears throat> this portion of today's video is brought to you by Orca coolers. One of my favorite things about these Orca coolers is they have a lifetime warranty on all hard sides. <clears throat> also, it has industry leading ice retention. Feel slightly reckless doing this. Orca coolers are made 100% in the US of A. They're pretty tough. I was gonna throw it out of that tree, but chose my wife instead. What does that mean? <laughs> Got back storage, little pouch. Put anything in there. Orca coolers are also bear proof, which is why I'm telling you about it. <laughs> I don't know where that was going. Me neither. If you would like an Orca cooler, go to orcacoolers.com. I got fast nationwide shipping. Thanks to Orca for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now back to the regular content. I mean, are we good or what? Yeah, good. Okay, just back of this hunk of girthy girl in and nobody's saying a word, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, the girthy girl finally gonna get the treatment she deserves. She's got a couple big issues. We almost sank last time we took her out because there's these little holes in the pontoons. There's also a dent in the left one. God told me there was no leaks. I told him, if you screw me, I'm gonna pee on all your property. So I gotta drive to Atlanta after this video, hose down some trucking company. But before we do that, we gotta put carpet on the deck, JB Weld on the tunes. Then we're gonna be mounting a pop-up camper on the Girthy Girl. I think it's gonna be the coolest camping pontoon boat on YouTube. So. Oh, yeah. I was like my ex-wife. This is the main culprit for the consistent taking of water into our pontoons. The other day I went out into the yard, I was a little curious how much water was actually in the pontoons. And I took the plugs out of the back and they just poured water for a minute. We got marine weld, kinky weld for Tommy. He's into that. We got weld. I know this is not the most professional way to fix pontoons. We could have an actual welder come out here and kind of give us a give us a hand. And if we continue to have problems, we we weld. The main problem we have with this one is the very tip. There's a little hole. I cut it so it's a little bit more open opened up the hole. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I feel like the JB Weld can get in there better and seal it up. I really want to pack it in there. I'd rather have too much than too little. The only problem with that leak is I can't see the actual hole. It's just like the crease in the weld where whatever they hit, then it in, I guess it opened at some part. Yeah. I'm just gonna try to aim for the wettest section. Seems to be right at the base of this monstrosity. Kinda just wanna take this thing and just, mm. God, it's so ugly, dude. Good thing is it's beneath the boat. Ah! Oh, how bad is it? Am I welded up? Gee dang it, dude. We're carpeting the girthy girl. I have some carpet that matches what was originally on the boat. I don't think this thing's had carpet on it for 20 years. It's an old, old pontoon boat. Oh, please unroll upon delivery to eliminate wrinkles. It's been rolled up for a year and a half. I'm excited. I need something soft on my toesies. Davey definitely likes his feet to be slowly caressed, so. Oh, dude. I like the way it looks. 
Got a little bit of the good stuff. My uncle used to use this stuff all the time. Straight to the dome piece. Oh. I tried to do anything in my power not to wear this thing during the itty bitty restoration days just because it makes me sweaty, but can't get work done when you're on another planet. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to these adhesives, you have a limited amount of time that you can work with these things. So we're gonna crack this thing open, 20 minutes on the back, close it up, put the carpet down, then move to the front. But you can't just let this thing sit open for a long amount of time. Do you care? No, but I'm just gonna do it now. Oh, little tree under there. Probably some of Tommy's special herb. Oh, karma. Dang it. Oh, she, she'll cut you slipping any day. I really want the edges to be good. Dear God, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? I gotta hurry up. This is not the way you put down carpet. I know guys, I know. I'm not trying to show you guys how to do it. I just want to improve the pontoon. This is mostly about the pop-up camper and just trying to make sure old Gravy has something nice for his tootsies. Yeah? Yeah, wipe the carpet. The plan for the girthy girl is to put a pop-up camper right here. Pop-up camper, oh man. We'll see how it goes. Alrighty, I actually bought this from a subscriber, Mr. James, it's nice to meet you. He also has a lot of sentimental value in this pop-up camper and he currently has the key to it because we forgot to transaction keys and sign the title. So I hope you know none of this is personal that's about to happen, but. <clears throat> Wasn't even that hard, dude. Welcome. So, what we have. Wow, I did not put the stabilizer. <laughs> it comes with stabilizers. We don't have the stabilizers down. So what we're thinking, if we can properly position this on the pontoon, we could combine the pop-up camper with the girthy girl. I know there's a lot of comments. A lot of people wanted to see that happen. I am by no means a professional. I do not recommend doing this, but we're gonna give it our best shot. We might end up with a second or third houseboat. I've, I've lost count. We have so many now. Oh, shoot. Do I need to lift it up a little bit? There's no way. Oh, dang, Tommy, we're good. Good God, man. So, for those of you who are curious, the new pop-up camper, old new pop-up camper, weighs 2,500 pounds. The girthy girl's weight capacity is 2,000 pounds, which means we now have roughly three hours to get rid of 750 pounds of camper. So, the thing you gotta keep in mind Campers are built different than boats. Boats, you gotta think about weight distribution. You gotta think about every little pound that's in the boat, because this is gonna affect how the boat goes through the water. The lighter we can keep the front of this camper, the better we're gonna be. I felt so bad too, because James, that dude is a handyman. And he did a fantastic job, but also who listens to CDs.
thing that sucks is this wood feels pretty light. Could be a cedar, maybe a redwood. That was maybe 20 pounds. That was in the go. It doesn't look like much, but I'd say we've got at least 250 pounds out. And with the sink and the other things, I think we're pushing up three, 400 pounds. It's adding up. Oh, go ahead and lubricate that black mold. Get those spores nice and active. This is the part that hurts me the worst. It would be so cool to have a little station to clean your hands after you flay some fish. Come right here. Blacken up a nice spotted bass, maybe a panfish. Snuggle up with gravy and call it a night. up doing some research ends up that this specific pop-up camper is only 2,000 pounds we have removed roughly 400 pounds I would say with the interior completely gutted pretty much and now we were planning to separate the camper from the trailer but it ends up that the trailer is one of the most structural points of this camper so we got to leave her together kind of like those couples that stay together for the kids to get through high school you know one of those situations here so we now have a storm of brew and we need to saw this trailer in half i don't know why i screamed so aggressive but i did never cut a trailer in half it just felt really good we're about to see if these jacks can hold the pressure of this camper the guy said be careful because they're a little old but we're here now Yes! Oh, dude, easy 50 pounds just removed. Easily. Maybe 60. That feels good, dude. I thought that was going to take way longer. And we beat the storm. We're going to remove tires. Hopefully find a way to remove the axle and that should put us right in the weight capacity the Only thing I don't like is where it's gonna be positioned on the boat, but you know, I had a lot of weight up front and I'm not falling over It doesn't have to go incredibly high Perfect. Alright. The jacks work. Very nice there. Very nice. Alright, just go ahead and uh Back that thing up. I said just go ahead and back it up. We want this frame flush on the pontoon itself. We have this axle and we have a bunch of small pieces of metal that are just shooting down below. It's gonna cause the camper to sit cockeyed. Covering ground. Yes. Oh, dude, whenever I do that, it shakes my hands so bad, my arms get itchy. I don't even know what that means, but it happens every time. There's some weight. It's not as much as I was hoping for. So we've come into a slight issue. The pop-up camper is 163 inches and the front deck to the girthy girl is 144 inches. It's 
not good or makeshift solution to this problem. The center console is roughly 20 inches. That is how much space we need to make sure the pop-up camper can fit on the girthy girl successfully. So we're gonna remove the windshield, the bar, steering wheel could be a problem and the gear shifter, but I'm thinking if we cut a nice perfect hole in the booty of the camper. We can slide it over and the center console will actually fit inside of the pop-up camper, which will look even cooler on the water. bolted on the bottom too. That's the bottom has the same screw it has on top. Sick. I don't like stretchy. So the game plan is pretty simple. I'm going to back this thing up. I'm going to back my truck up to the pontoon, pull it straight out, and then we're going to come straight onto the pontoon. 110, how you feeling? I'm a five as well. I just hope we don't crush the pontoon boat. It's my biggest fear. If we lose the pop-up, I don't really care. I just, I like the girthy girl. I got memories of Davy Grady and nothing but a full body sleeping bag. I think that gives me plenty of room. Golly, dude. Only thing we didn't really think about, oh dear goodness, just hear the frame just crunching, dude. I don't like standing right here, dude. That's the scumiest thing I've done in a while. It's pretty close, though, really. It's, I mean, it is and it is. I'm gonna be honest, it ain't. Like, it's kind of, but it's not. Keep coming. Keep coming. Come on. Come on! Drop it, drop it. Good enough. Good work, boys. Dang it, dude. What are you doing? Your $2,000 carpet job? <laughs> I think she's fresh for the market. Hey, yo, pop up the pontoons coming in hot. I haven't told you much about what's behind me, but we have the girthy girl, my ex-boss. Whoa, my... whoa, don't you call me the girthy girl. Don't you? <laughs> what? Don't you call me that. Well, you put your hand on me as soon as you said girthy girl. Did no, you not, Andrew? He did. I did. I mean, literally girthy girl. <laughs> I mean, you make that contact right yeah. there. You're implying, you know. Right. Come on, man. My bad. Be professional, dude. Come on. <laughs> Video has culminated to this point. I'm with the man who's known for sinking vessels, and we are gonna see if this thing floats or not. We happen to be at a trophy bass lake, one of our favorite lakes to fish, and we really don't wanna lose access. So, fingers crossed, the Shenandoah doesn't sink the girthy girl. What was that word you just said? So, the plan is, we're gonna leave this thing on the trailer. It's not coming off. It's gonna go in, it's gonna float up, hopefully. If it starts to sink, it's not coming off. We have it double strapped. 
I'm just gonna freaking throw that puppy in four low. Ease her on out. Ease out. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Garfy. Be good to me, please. We're good. <laughs> it's just my transmission. Just keep her straight as you can. It's easing just right. Oh, wow. Okay. Stop. The back is floating. That's good. It was completely under. Yeah, I think. All right. I think it's still on the trailer. Oh, gosh. It's terrifying. You can come in like maybe another foot, I think, before my exhaust gets plugged. All right, you ready? I'm ready as I'm going to be. Oh, shit. Okay, you're there. You're good. Wow, that's, that's going under right well. I'm on it. She's floating for now. We're floating. Definitely floating. And we're not on the trailer. Not on the trailer. Definitely not. I am genuinely impressed right now. I knew we shedded enough weight to get this to weight capacity, but we've just had the track record of sinking every boat that touches water lately. I just had a terrible feeling, but I don't want to get too confident. I feel good. What about your leak spot though? Have you water tested it since then? Yeah, dude. Okay, well. So when I walk up, and is it going completely under? Oh, the exhaust pipe is just. Oh wow, she's bubbling. Okay. Um, Dude, we're off trailer for sure. Yeah, we are now. Yeah, absolutely. Oh dear lord, I do not need to be up there with you. Should we? Dear lord, man. Sorry. You're moving a lot. What is that? Oh, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. Oh, this is, I'm gonna be face first in this lake before it's all said and done. Oh, oh no, don't do that. It looks absurd, man. If somebody could rig something up where the center console fit into the pop-up camper. You ready to touch off? I mean, if you're ready to touch off, I can touch off. Okay. Oh no, the ladder's stuck. Oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta get off the front of this boat immediately. We're free? We're free, dude, but the, the front end is very low. Is it? Well. It might be a little bit lower than it was before. Dude, it is working. Oh, God. We're leaving our safe place. <laughs> <laughs> that was a serious stare. That was a stare of a man who does not want to lose his best fishing hole. <laughs> no, I really don't. But it's working for now. I'm willing to be positive as long as we are floating. Dude, it, it genuinely, it floats. There's oh no my mat. god there's a mouse on it right now buddy he's been living in my backyard Dude, he's wet where in the heck did he come from i don't know but i kind of want to snuggle him up yeah he looks real scared and he's cold hey little buddy you ever vlogged before oh you got the hydraulic crank i can't believe nobody has designed a boat like this that's like an overnight pop-up camper Seriously. And this liners and such? Oh, you just wait, my friend. We're just Dang. getting started. Oh, a pullout? Oh, pull out on them. It gets bigger. Dude, this is helping with weight distribution too. Cause you're pulling more weight to the back now. Wow, we're running out of boat, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are, we are here. We're at the end. This is a complete camper boat now. There's literally no deck space left. I almost fell in. <laughs> you're actually true you only had a quarter inch on each side now you got two feet on the back i don't know where to go from here it's lost everything oh god dude don't wow. you do that I you better fell. stop it no that was real folks i about i went whoop golly dude there is no room to walk around this vessel anymore it's gonna come like flying out of this hole Knock me into the water. This is probably, oh, this is our camera too. That'd be even better. <laughs> <laughs> I could ruin my camera. Oh. Dude, that is so cool. We're floating all day. We could float all night. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, we said it at the same time. 
How's it feel to post a boat video on YouTube with no sinking boat? It feels good, man. It feels like we're back in the green now. You know what I mean? Like the street cred is starting to come back. Right. We can actually do this. Yes. Mm -hmm. We can make YouTube videos without ruining lakes. Or, yeah, just the entire project all together. Yeah. yeah project came together. Yeah. Now That's the interior's good. not the best, but I do want to show you around. Please. Oh, wow. We got some things. Is that sturdy? Yeah. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> You're like, oh! Oh, wow. Oh! oh, don't trust that. The roof just broke in half. What? Dude. It was already like Dude, that. Dude, I don't think I saw that till you just did that, you piece of garbage. Dude, that was like that from, yeah, your little accident on the highway. Nobody Dude, knows about that. Did vomit all over this or what? <laughs> Holy moly. Did Norm just, <laughs> right there? I Look believe so. I like how the roof is just like, if you're an above average height man, you're just, you're just. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh bro. why would you do that? I didn't know that it could do that. So. Yeah, it's just sitting Jesus. there. That's the door. Oh, so you I slide that, that down to fit this spot right there. Well, when you first see that little shell, you do not think that it's going to get this big. No, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of mind boggling, but. Couch, couch. Double beds. And those are like king size beds. That's dude. a huge bed. You could we could sleep three deep in here easy, easily, and then you have a bed here and a bed there. Well, when's the sleepover? When is it? <laughs> she floats, and I'm proud. I'm you proud from the bottom of my heart, dude. You should be. It's a good feeling. It's a down cool in my setup. tummy. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys would like to see, we will spend it overnight on the pontoon pop-up camper. Me but and you. Yeah, if you want. I would love to. I I'll, thought, yeah. I don't there's know what no other man I'd rather spend yeah. in. Top water? I don't know. I thought I heard a little fish. Make sure to leave some likes. This video was a freaking roller coaster. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. I love you. I love you. There you go. Tommy has no faith in me, but about to prove everybody wrong. Yet again. <gasps> Bam! Oh. Golly, dude, I miss Davy Gravy. Dude's in college. Miss him. Want some candy?